Welcome back to Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 19 at the Paramount in Huntington, New York. Now, let's go up to ring announcer Dave Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at the Paramount, we go to the judges' score totals. Robert Perez and Tony Lundy, 60 to 54. Kevin Morgan, 59 to 55. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Danny El Gallo Gonzalez. There you have it, Daniel Gonzalez. Now 9-0-1, Mick Nichols, you fought hard all the way through. We're gonna throw it up to Kara Casanova, who's gonna talk to the victorious Daniel Gonzalez. Kara? Thanks, Mark. Congratulations, Daniel, on your ninth victory. So you hit McNichols with everything besides the kitchen sink in the ring tonight. Were you surprised that you didn't get the knockout? Because I know that you mentioned yeah. you were looking for the late round stoppage. Yeah, um, I had a lot more. I, I, I didn't give him the kitchen sink yet. But um, I just wanted to be smart. Uh, he, he was known to be a knockout puncher. I could have kept on going and just let my hands go. But then he could have thrown something and catch me. So I was like, let me just try to stop him. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm not going to take the unnecessary chance. Did, was he, did, did McNichols hit as hard as you thought he was going to? Nah, he didn't hit hard at all. He did um, hit me with a couple of headbutts that kind of rung me. He threw a couple of hard shots, but most of it was blocked. I used my boxing skills to just uh, leave him kind of helpless. How does it feel to be fighting again at the Paramount? Uh, I know that you have history here. You're from the local area. This, Tell me about how it feels. I love it. I love the atmosphere. I love the people. They're loud, they're energetic. As I was coming over here, it was like a surreal moment. Like, to, the energy of the crowd, the, the atmosphere is amazing. I love it. I want to fight here nonstop until I get to the big show. This is your second fight with Joe Zaguardia and yes. Star Boxing. Yes. How do you like working with them so far? I love it. They're extremely professional. They, um, they're promoting me the perfect way, giving me the right opponents, giving me the great fights. And I love it. I, I couldn't be happier. Congratulations again on a shutout victory, and I hope to see you again here at the Paramount. Hope to be here again. Thank you. Back to you, Mark. We'll be back with more Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 19 right after this. Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing is brought to you by The Inn at Fox Hollow, Modell Sporting Goods. Camelot Specialty Limos, Anti-3 Protect Series, KO5M, PAL Environmental Services, Masterpiece Construction, Powerplay International, WBAB, Laborers Local 66, Operating Engineers Local 138, and Magnicare. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Hello boxing fans, the KO5M brand is here. We have KO5M snap caps, t-shirts, and hoodies that come in various colors. Our fans will enjoy wearing their new distinguishing logo, KO5M. The sale of any of our products will also help knock out global malnutrition for children. Come join in the fight with Star Boxing and KO5M.com. I'm joining the fight. Stay tuned for future KO5M products. Stay strong. KO 5M. Hey, boxing fans, come out to the Paramount in Huntington, New York. There you go, D. Two body shots and a hook to the head. Come join Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing on September 11th to see Joe Smith, the Irish bomber, defend his title here at the Paramount. And he does, it's over. It's over, nice round knockout. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or Ticketmaster. Star Boxing. It's a knockout.
My name is Cletus Selden. I'm from Long Island, New York. I'm 28 years old and my record 16 and 0 with 13 knockouts. Yeah, I'm going forward, I'm going hard. I've been in peak shape, ready to go. My, my mastering my defense and my offense is always explosive, you guys know that. So for me, it's just another, this is another fight for me to build on what I've already have been working on for the past four years, which is so awesome to, to say and do. And then just recently I found out I was um, gluten free, so I gotta be, I'm learning to gluten and certain fruits and vegetables. So I actually cut all this stuff out of my diet and I made weight like no problem. And I feel stronger, lighter, more energy than ever. So I'm excited for everything. Oh, the people love me because I, I am so open to saying anything. I always say whatever I want to, but if I think of, I say it right away. I don't have to sit there and go behind, oh, should I say this or should I say that? Like other professional athletes say, do, uh, say and do. I literally speak what I have to speak and say what I have to say. I go hang out with most of all these people. I go to their, their spots. Everyone thinks because they sponsor me or say that they're a, a certain store. I know I go there just regular. That's how I got them as a sponsor. That's why these people enjoy me or that's what I like doing. I like enjoying hanging out with people, talking to them and everyone else is like, oh my God, I'm just like, we are talking about? Let's have fun. Uh, my opponent has more knockouts than I have fights. He has 32 knockouts out of 36. Incredible. Um, he has a nice compact style, but my style is sim uh, similar to his, but I punch way harder, way faster. He's uh, 36 years old, and I'm a 28-year-old prime piece of meat. So I'm ready to go. I'm working on full, full cylinders and ready to fire. We are closing in on our main event of the evening. 10 rounds of WBC International Silver Junior Welterweight Championship. The champion, Cletus Selden, defending against Ronnie Ganoy. Kara Kashinova, take us through the tale of the team. Cletus Selden coming from Shirley, New York. Right here on Long Island, Renee Ganoy coming from halfway across the country from New Mexico. He's originally from the Philippines, which is across the world. Ganoy has double the amount of fights as Selden. 32 of them are knockouts. He outweighs Selden by about one pound, and he's seven years older than Selden. We are ready for our main event. Sheldon and Ganoy, let's go up the ring announcer, Dave Diamante. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with the main event of the evening. And it's all being brought to you courtesy of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, sponsored by Modell Sporting Goods. Gotta go to Moe's, the Inn at Fox Hollow, Camelot Limousine, Power Play, WBAB 102.3 and Safety Mat. This bout is sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, Chairperson Tom Hoover, Executive Director David Berlin, and the WBC. President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Jill Diamond. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest ringside, Kevin Morgan, Robert Perez, and Robin Taylor. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, Arthur Mercanti. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC International Silver Junior Welterweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears gold with black trim. He weighed in at an even 140 pounds. His professional record, 36 victories. 12 defeats, two draws. He has 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Originally from Sydney, Australia, and now living and fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ronnie, the KO Kid, Ganoy. Ganoy. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He wears the purple with white and silver trim. He weighed in at already 139.2 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 16 fights, 16 victories, 13 of them coming by way of knockout. From Shirley, New York, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending, 
undefeated WBC International Silver Junior Welterweight Champion, Cletus, the Hebrew Hammer, Selden. Selden. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the rules early in the night. Let's have a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. Ten rounds for the WBC. International Silver Junior Welterweight Championship. Cletus Selden in the purple. Ronnie Ganoy in the gold. We're underway and Selden going right after Ganoy and he's wasting no time trying to land power punches over the 35-year-old Ganoy. Ganoy, who actually came in heavy, is the much smaller man by trade. But a lot more experience, Carol. Definitely has a lot more experience. He's been around the world fighting. He's fought in Australia and the Philippines, all around Thailand. the country. Thailand. And against uh, some very good fighters. He fought Manny Pacquiao's little brother, which I thought was very interesting. Cletus Selden's game plan, which seems like he's sticking to it right now, starting right off from the first bell, was to add even more pressure than he normally does because he did not want... He knows that Benoit likes to fight at a certain pace, in and out, in and out, so he didn't want him to be able to establish a pace. He wanted to just overwhelm him so he can never really set up his punches. Benoit said a... Uh very long pro career that started in 2000, so he's on his 15th year as a pro. No amateur fights. It's amazing. I asked him uh, if he's a big Manny Pacquiao fan, being that he spent a lot of time in the Philippines. He says, no, Luis, Luisito Espinosa and Flash Alorty, two of the great other Filipino fighters, are uh, kind of like his uh, boxing influence from that part of the world. Left from Selden. Benoya, very short with the jab. Right over the top, just misses from Cletus Selden. Selden, we know, is a very good offensive fighter. He said he's been working a lot in the gym on defense. So, uh, you know, he's trying to just make himself a very well-rounded fighter. I noticed he's using a lot more lateral movement. As he continues to step up the competition, he's gonna to have to show more dimensions. Not just a straight ahead guy who uh, likes to uh, use his power shots. And you know, so far he's been good. 13 of the 16 have not seen the final belt. And with a neck knee like the hammer, that's a lot to live up to. People are expecting him to come up with that knockout. So it takes a lot of self-discipline to actually box in there for someone like Peter Selden. Body shot from Selden. Selden coming off a fifth round stoppage over Johnny Garcia on February 27th. Nice one too, right, in, right down the middle of my side. Come to the end of round one, Ganoy lands a shot that drives Selden back into the corner. We see the safety match brought to you by Modell. In between round one and two, the safety match. We see Cletus Selden standing on the safety match. He chooses not to sit down in between rounds. Why do you think that is that some fighters choose not to sit down more? Whatever people, I guess, whatever fighters feel comfortable doing. You know, so uh, you know, we see that George Foreman was one of the first guys to have that trend, and you know, some have followed suit uh, since then. Commence on round two. Cletus Selden in the purple. Rene Ganoy in the gold. I think Ganoy wanted to touch gloves or something, and Selden came up landing a right. Hard 
right hand from Selden. And a left hook. Selden jabs his way in, tries to shoot the right hand behind it. Double jab right hand again from Selden. Selden is training in West Palm Beach with Hugh Crosby, so he had his camp down in Florida. He said he got to relax, but it was the first time his girlfriend was actually able to come visit the country. Oh, hard shot! And down goes Genoa! I think it was a little uppercut on the inside! Genoi trying to fight his way back. Genoi misses with the right hand. Seems to have steadied himself after the knockdown. Combination of the head from Ronnie Ganoy. Right to the head and Selden cut in. Big right hand again. Selden has Ganoy on the ropes right above us here at the Paramount. That right hand is just so deadly. Body shot with the left hand. Left hook from Cletus Selden. Double jab from Cletus Selden. Double jab again. See if he fires off the right. Now just touching Ganoy on the ropes. Ganoy fighting back, tries to land a combination. I like seeing uh, Peter Seldon with these nice long punches, these nice one-twos. They're working for him. They're powerful, but he gets to stay away. He doesn't have to get inside where he's getting hit like he did in a Double. lot of his earlier fights. Combination with the jab. Tell this with the left hook. As we come to the end of round two, scheduled for 10, we'll be back with our main event, Selden and Ganoy. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. We are back. Round three, Cletus Selden scores a knockdown in round two. And Rene Ganoy, Mark Andrews and Cara Castronova, ringside. Cletus Selden, he grew up in Shirley on Long Island, but he now lives in Iceland, New York, with his girlfriend, who's a sergeant. Her name's Sergeant Brittany Boy. She's in the Army. Cletus was very proud to tell me that in the interview today. He said she's his biggest fan. She helps him relax. She came to training camp with him, which, as you know, Mark, is very controversial. Do you bring your training? Do you bring your girlfriend to training camp or not? But he said that she really helped him. Again, uh, you know, it's all what you like. It's what you feel comfortable for. I know a lot of fighters like to have their spouses because they're used to their cooking. And you know, that you know, could mean a lot. You, you know the stuff that you're eating, you feel comfortable eating it. As Selden jabbing now, Ganoy lands a right hand. Well, uppercut from Cletus Selden. Cletus Selden's a former high school wrestler. He's always been a fighter. He describes himself as a full-time fighter his whole life. He always, the jobs he had, he said, were just working to pay for his boxing training. Just so he could box, he bartended, he bar back, he used to push carts at Lowe's just to make enough money to pay his gym due. All he ever wanted to do was fight. 
Uppercut from Ganoy, left hook to the body from Ganoy. Sheldon trying to land a massive right, he missed it. If he would have hit that one, uh, Ganoy may have landed in our lap. Right, right from Ganoy. Ganoy's starting to get a little confidence now with his right hand. So this guy is a he's a veteran. I mean he's he's had 32 knockouts is, is a very impressive amount of knockouts. 50 professional fights. and 50 professional fights. They both try to wind up and land big right hands. Jab from Ganoy. bit about Kanoi, he comes from a big family, he has eight brothers and eight sisters, and he's the only boxer. And then you have to be a fighter because you fight for food at the dinner I'm table. sure, 17 kids. In his corner is his trainer Sergio Chavez and Mama D. Jones, that's his conditioning coach. It's always nice to see a female in the corner. She said he's in amazing condition and she really wouldn't let me in on her training and conditioning secrets. Oh, a hard right hand, and down goes Ganoy! A perfectly timed right hand over the top, and Ganoy's down for the second time! We come to the end of round three! Could have said it better myself. The bell came just in time for Rene Ganoy. As a perfect right hand to the head, put Ganoy down for the second time in the fight. Just as I was telling you that his conditioning coach was saying how he's in the best shape of his life, of course he goes down. Well, Classic. for, you know, nothing wrong about that because no matter uh, how, how great a condition you're in, you get hit with a shot like that. Right. Especially from Cletus Selden, the hammer. I would not want to be on the receiving end of even Cletus Selden's jab, let alone a right hand. The noise uh, team uh, doing their best to revive him to start round four. match there, the ice still got in the corner. That's a veteran move by a corner to buy Ganoy a couple extra seconds as the ringside doctor's now looking at Ganoy. And he gets the okay, uh, referee Arthur Mercani Jr. Let's see if Selden looks for that right hand again. Double jab from Selden. Shoots the right hand, that's more of a straight right hand than the booming right hand that he landed in round three. Body shots from Cletus Selden. That's why those booming red hands come as such a surprise, because he's throwing that one two so clean and crisp, and then all of a sudden comes that big overhand right. Stuns a guy. There he pushes the right hand into the face of Ganoy. Ganoy lands a left. Tell you what, Ronnie Ganoy, he only goes one way, and he just eats three hard shots. Selden now all over Ganoy. Ganoy back to the ropes. He tries to throw a right hand. Ganoy with unsteady legs, hard right and a left. Referee Arthur Mortani is looking very closely now at Ronnie Ganoy. Ganoy in a lot of trouble right now. Ganoy eating shots on the ropes. Ganoy now bleeding from around the right eye. Misses with the right hand left to the body. Hard right hand from Cleta Sound and body shots. Another right. Ganoy trying to fight back. This fight is stopped. This fight is over. Knockout number 14 for Cletus the Hebrew Hammer Selden here at the Paramount here in Huntington, New York. Great fight for Cletus Selden. He barely got touched. His defense that he's been working on really showed in this fight. Better movement than I've ever seen before with Cletus. Very good victory. Stays undefeated. Stays undefeated and everyone's happy. They got what they wanted to see, and that was a knockout victory for Cletus Selden, who now will continue to climb up the ranks in the junior welterweight division, and you expect a big fight from him sooner rather than later.
He's ranked number 18. Now he said that after this fight, he'll be 15. So if he's in the top 15, that gives him a really good shot at being on one of the top networks like Showtime or HBO in his next fight, if not his next fight, then definitely the one after that one. Well, I'm sure his promoter Joe DeGuardia will definitely uh, be pushing for that. We're pushing for a big opportunity for uh, Cletus the Hebrew Hammer Selden. And I would not be surprised, especially with his drawing power, to have that fight right back here in Huntington. Selden, uh, you know, we, we just mentioned that, you know, maybe he gets one more fight here, kind of like Chris Algieri, he got that signature fight. Cletus Selden is knocking on the doorstep of that signature fight for him to uh, kind of get more exposure and a bigger opportunity at maybe even a, a bigger regional belt to, uh, to again help himself climb the ladder and get that world title opportunity. We'll be back with more Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 19 right after this. Welcome back to Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 19 at the Paramount in Huntington, New York. Now, let's go up to ring announcer Dave Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Arthur Mercanti calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 15 seconds of round number four. Your winner by TKO and still undefeated and still the WBC International Silver Junior Welterweight Champion, Cletus, the Hebrew Hammer, Selden. Let's go up to Kara Kastronova, who has the winner of our main event, the undefeated Cletus Selden. Mark, congratulations Cletus on your second title defense victory here at the Paramount. You made it look easy. You beat a veteran, who had more knockouts than you have fights. How did it feel? Uh, it felt great. Uh, I was actually shocked on how powerful he was. His jab was really strong. Uh, his only thing was he's so wide that he couldn't throw a combination off it. But when he hit me with a jab, I made sure he hit me on the top of the head so I wouldn't bruise up. So I felt that after I was able to get his timing and his distance down, I was able to do my counter shots. Once my counter shots came in, the fight was uh, history after that. I know that you've been working a lot on your defense. I know, noted that you had a lot of lateral movement. You were throwing punches a little bit more from a distance. Do you feel like that had a big effect on the outcome tonight? Yes, absolutely. Throwing the counter shots and throwing from angles is what really changed the pace of the fight. I didn't come straight on forward like he was doing, and I was bouncing to the side. And when I got him against the ropes, I was trying to bounce him and make a move so he wouldn't just stay there. Uh, lateral so he could throw a, a, a power shot like he did. If you see, watch them. I see him go right back. He threw a power shot, so I made sure I got my lateral movement before I attacked. I know that this fight puts you higher up in the ratings of yeah. the WBC. Tell me what that means. This means everything. I hope I'm getting ranked in the top 15 so we can go on those major networks and get a bigger, bigger fight. Um, I'm almost there, but it's all up to Joe DeGuardia. It's all up to Joe DeGuardia. Joe, what do you think? Where, where do you think Cletus is going after this fight? Well, obviously, um, you know, every win is the next step in the right direction. And uh, this was a nice win. He fought a real veteran. And I'm expecting actually a little higher than what Cletus expected. I'm expecting he's going to go to number 12 in the world in the WBC. What do you rank number now, Cletus? I'm ranked 18th. Was ranked 18th. Anything you want to say to the fans? I know that you bring a packed house here to the Paramount. You have an electric crowd behind you. Anything that you want to say to your fans? Yeah, I want to first thank my, uh, my parents, my dad and my mom, Harry, uh, Heschel and Heidi. Uh, they're, they're awesome. They always help me out. And then these fans are ridiculous. You know these people are insane. Uh, Dave Jolly, Chief Hammerhead, you know him. He's the loudest guy in the room. He brings all the support and he brings all these people with me. Obviously, my team, Joe Gadijan, uh, Pete Brodsky. 
Scott Luscious Lopek, my brother Joseph Selden, Steve Dominati. Star Boxing is a big help, and uh, everybody that is part of this whole little contribute of this team is incredible, especially like my girlfriend. My girlfriend has helped me so much through this, and she, she's, she's really is something that most fighters don't get, so I'm so happy I got the support from her, and the rest of this whole island is incredible, and I'm so happy and I'm ready to go, as everybody can see. Congratulations, Cletus. There's big things uh, for you from here on out, and I'm excited for you. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations, Cletus. Beautiful victory. Can't wait to see what's up next for you. Yes, you're gonna probably see another knockout. And I always predict the right round. I said fourth round this time, it's gonna happen again. So whatever, whatever round I say is gonna be the one it's gonna be. Back to you, Mark. We'll be back with more Joe DeGuardia Star Boxing Rockin' Fights 19 right after this.